Have you ever wondered what negative exponents really mean? Well, today I'm going to try to break it down in a way that makes a little bit of sense. So let us start with positive exponents so we can see the pattern before we start dealing with the negative ones. Let's take five to the third power. Remember, a positive exponent just means repeated multiplication. So five to the third power is just five times five times five, which is 125. Now, let us step down one exponent at a time and observe what happens. Five to the second power is equal to 25. Five to the first power is five and five to the zero power is equal to one. Now, let us analyze the resulting pattern. Notice each time we reduced the exponent by one, we divided the previous answer by five. 125 divided by five is 25. 25 divided by five is five. And five divided by five is one. Since reducing an exponent, it's like moving backward through division. Let's keep going into negative exponents. Now let us look at five to the negative first power. A negative exponent means repeated division, the opposite of multiplication. So we take the previous value, which was one, and divide it by five to continue the pattern, which is equal to one fifth. Next, five to the negative second power means we divide by five again. And one fifth divided by five is one twenty-fifth. Following the same pattern, five to the negative third power means dividing by five once again. And one twenty-fifth divided by five is one one hundred twenty-fifth. Now, instead of dividing over and over again, here is a shortcut. If you know that five to the third power is 125, then five to the negative third power is simply the reciprocal, which is equal to one over 125. Five to the second power is 25, so five to the negative second power is the reciprocal of 25, which is one over 25, and five to the first power is five, so five to the negative first power is the reciprocal of five, which is one fifth. Negative exponents don't make numbers negative, they just mean repeated division. They're the inverse of positive exponents. So whenever you see a negative exponent, just think, flip it. Pick the reciprocal of the positive exponent's value, and that's it. Hopefully negative exponents make a little bit more sense now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.